I was desperate. I had tried every diet and exercise plan imaginable, but the weight wouldn't budge. One day, I saw an ad for a new weight loss supplement. It promised amazing results with no side effects. Hope surged in my heart. This could be the answer to my prayers. Without hesitation, I ordered the supplement. The bottle arrived two days later. I eagerly read the instructions, my excitement growing. This was my chance to finally achieve the body of my dreams. That night I took the recommended dosage. I went to bed feeling optimistic and excited about the future. I woke up in the middle of the night with a stabbing pain in my stomach. It felt like someone was twisting my insides. I tried to get up, but the pain intensified. I collapsed on the floor, gasping for air. Fear gripped my heart as waves of nausea washed over me. This was no ordinary stomach ache. Something was terribly wrong. Through blurry vision, I saw my phone on the nightstand. I had to call for help. With the last ounce of strength, I reached for it, but my arm fell limp. The pain became unbearable, consuming my every thought. Then, everything went black. I opened my eyes to a darkness more profound than anything I had ever experienced. Panic surged through me. Where was I? What was happening? Then, a tiny point of light appeared in the distance. It pulsated with an energy that seemed both familiar and strange. Intrigued, I moved towards the light. As I drew closer, it expanded, revealing a kaleidoscope of colors unlike anything I had ever seen on Earth. They swirled and danced, forming patterns of breathtaking beauty. A sense of peace washed over me, calming my fear. This was not the abyss I had imagined. It was something else entirely. As I journeyed through this extraordinary landscape, a figure emerged from the light. It was a being of pure energy, radiating love and compassion. Its form was fluid, constantly shifting and changing, yet its presence felt strangely familiar. I knew instinctively that this being was my guide, sent to help me navigate this unfamiliar realm. Without words, my guide communicated telepathically, assuring me that I was safe and loved. It explained that I was in a dimension beyond human comprehension, a place where souls go after they leave the physical body. This was heaven, a realm of pure consciousness and boundless love. Section 5. The Importance of Being True This chapter delves into the essence of living a life that is true to oneself, a journey that many embark on but few truly understand. As we soared through this vibrant world, my guide began to share with me the lessons I was meant to learn. The world around us seemed to reflect the inner beauty and potential that lies within each of us, waiting to be discovered and embraced. The first lesson was the importance of authenticity. Authenticity is not just about being honest with others, but also about being honest with oneself. It is about recognizing and accepting who we are at our core. I realized that throughout my life I had always strived to please others, often at the expense of my own happiness. This constant need for approval had led me to lose sight of my own desires and dreams. I had hidden my true self behind a mask of expectations, afraid to show the world who I truly was. This mask was a barrier, preventing me from forming genuine connections and experiencing true joy. My guide emphasized the beauty and uniqueness of every soul. It is our individuality that makes us special, and it is only by embracing our true selves that we can truly shine. It explained that we are all expressions of the divine, each with our own gifts and talents to share with the world. These talents are not just for our own benefit, but for the enrichment of those around us. To live authentically meant embracing our true selves, imperfections and all, and sharing our unique light with the world. It is about being brave enough to be vulnerable, to show our true colors, and to live a life that is true to our own values and beliefs. In doing so, we not only find our own happiness, but also inspire others to do the same. Section 6. Discovering My Purpose The second lesson was about finding our life's purpose. This journey is often filled with moments of introspection and self-discovery, where we question our passions, our strengths, and the impact we wish to have on the world. My guide showed me that we all have a unique reason for being here on Earth. This reason is not always immediately clear, but it is something that resonates deeply within us, often revealed through our experiences and the people we meet along the way. Our purpose is not something we need to search for, but rather something that is woven into the very fabric of our being. It is an intrinsic part of who we are, waiting to be uncovered and embraced. 
It is through discovering and living our purpose that we find true fulfillment and make our unique contribution to the world. This fulfillment is not just about personal satisfaction, but about the positive impact we can have on others and the legacy we leave behind. I realized that my desire to help others had always been a driving force in my life. This realization brought clarity and a sense of direction as I began to see how my skills and passions could be used to make a difference. I had often felt drawn to careers in healing and counseling, but I had allowed fear and self-doubt to hold me back. These feelings of uncertainty and hesitation are common, but they can be overcome with the right mindset and support. My guide reminded me that it is never too late to step into our purpose. No matter where we are in life, we can always choose to follow our true calling and make a meaningful impact. The universe will always conspire to support us when we align ourselves with our soul's calling. This alignment brings a sense of peace and purpose, as we trust that we are on the right path and that everything will unfold as it should. Section 7. Love Without Limits The final and most profound lesson was the all-encompassing power of love. This love transcended all boundaries, whether they were physical, emotional, or spiritual. It was a force that could not be contained or limited by any means. In this realm, love was not merely an emotion, but the very essence of existence. It was the air we breathed, the light that guided us, and the energy that sustained us. Love was the fundamental building block of this reality, shaping every interaction and every moment. It permeated everything connecting all beings in a web of unity and compassion. This interconnectedness was palpable, a living, breathing network of hearts and souls intertwined in a dance of mutual respect and understanding. I felt an overwhelming sense of love for all of humanity, even those I had considered my enemies in my earthly life. This newfound perspective allowed me to see the inherent goodness in everyone, recognizing that we are all part of the same cosmic family. My guide explained that love is the most powerful force in the universe. It is the glue that holds the cosmos together, the driving force behind creation and evolution. Love is the ultimate healer, capable of mending the deepest wounds and bridging the widest chasms. It has the ability to heal wounds, bridge divides, and create a more harmonious world. When we embrace love, we dissolve the barriers that separate us, fostering a sense of unity and collective purpose. When we live from a place of love, we tap into our true potential and create ripples of positivity that extend far beyond ourselves. These ripples can transform communities, nations, and ultimately the world. By choosing love, we become beacons of light, illuminating the path for others to follow. Section 8. A Reluctant Return As my time in this heavenly realm drew to a close, I felt a mix of joy and sadness. I had learned so much, experienced love beyond measure, and glimpsed the true nature of reality. The thought of returning to my earthly life filled me with a profound sense of loss. My guide sensed my hesitation and reassured me that my journey was far from over. I had an important purpose to fulfill back on earth, and the lessons I had learned would guide me every step of the way. It was time for me to share my experience, to spread the message of love, authenticity, and purpose. Section 9. Life After Heaven with a heavy heart, I bid farewell to my guide and felt myself being pulled back towards the darkness. The next thing I knew, I was gasping for air, my body racked with pain. I was back in the hospital, surrounded by doctors and machines. I learned later that I had been in a coma for seven days. The weight loss supplement had triggered a rare allergic reaction, causing my organs to shut down. Medically speaking, I should not have survived. But I knew in my heart that I had been given a second chance a gift from the divine to share my story with the world. Section 10. Embracing My Purpose My near-death experience profoundly changed my perspective on life. I no longer feared death, for I had glimpsed the beauty and wonder that awaited me on the other side. I returned with a renewed sense of purpose, determined to live a life aligned with the lessons I had learned. I embraced my passion for helping others and enrolled in a counseling program. I began sharing my story with anyone who would listen, hoping to inspire others to live their truth, embrace their purpose, and cultivate a more loving world. Section 11. Longing for Home Even though I'm grateful for every moment in this earthly realm, a part of me still longs for the unconditional love and vibrant energy of heaven. 
I know that when my time comes, I will be welcomed back into that realm with open arms. Until then, I strive to bring a little bit of heaven to earth every day through acts of kindness, compassion, and love. For in the end, love is all that truly matters. It is the bridge that connects us all, the force that has the power to heal and transform our world.